Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo ThinkPad P52. These are a workstation laptops and they're really upgradable laptops. And here yeah, I'm going to show you in this video based on the request how you can upgrade the RAM on this one and how you can add or remove RAMs. There's an easy way and there's a little harder way to do it. There's a, these laptops have a four slot of the RAM DIMMs available. The easiest RAM removal, the two easy ones are under the laptop, under the service cover right here. I'm going to go over the tool that I'm going to be using, the screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. We're going to use a Philips number one. And uh, we need an opening tool. If you get the Pro set, you get some opening tool, tweezers and a few other stuff. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Alright, you don't need to remove the battery, but if you want to, and it's really easy, just pull this trigger to one side and lift up the battery and put it to one side. Now, we're going to remove all the screws on the bottom cover here. The screws do have a C-lock on them, I believe. And they will not come out entirely, so you just have to loose them up. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out to do your own upgrade, you can click that like and support the channel by subscribing. I'll really appreciate it. I'll take requests from my subscribers and answer the questions in the comment area. Alright, once we remove all the screws, now we're going to lift up the cover. From the back end, from this side, right, you have your for the finger, lift it up, bring it up, and just pull it back. That's the hinges right here. So remove the cover, and the two dims are upgradable, they are right over here. So you can actually add the RAMs right underneath. They do take a DDR4 RAM, so if you want to add the RAM, so I'm going to put a tape right on top, so it keeps it in one place so you guys can see it. There. Alright, now I'm gonna put a new RAM in here. This one is an 8 gig DDR4. I'll leave the link for uh, compatible RAMs. So, what you need to do is to grab your new RAM and you have to make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIM. So, if you try to put it that way around, it will not go through. You make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the RAM DIM and you want to bring it down in 45 degrees all the way towards the jack and make sure you push it towards the jack so it, the DIM makes a click. Right there I'm going to push it. It just goes in softly and now um, we have it in 45 degree angle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push it towards the motherboard and I'm going to hear a soft clicks right there. Those are the clips that are getting open and they close down and it holds the RAM in place right there. To remove the RAM, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers away from each other. And the RAM, with a little bit of help, it should come out, it pop out in 45 degree angle. Now to remove it, you want to pull it out in 45 degree angle. You don't want to yank it towards the upward, otherwise you're going to crack the dim. Pull it back in 45 degree angle. Doesn't matter if the RAM chips are on both sides, on one side, that doesn't make any difference. As long as the notch under them matches, you want to do that. Same thing on the other side. There should be a notch on every dim. Right there, grab it in 45 degree angle, bring it in all the way inside the dim and towards the motherboard. And that's how you upgrade the RAM on this side of the motherboard. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get to the RAMs on the other side of the motherboard. To get to the RAMs on the other end, you have to open up the laptop. Now we need to remove the left and right click. To do that, simply put the guitar pick right underneath here and twist it backward like that. Put it there. Whoop, it slipped out. Put it there and twist it backward. And that way it's not breaking, it has a little hinge, it's meant for that, so it comes up and let it move. It has a little, this hinge just goes underneath and this one comes up. This is the only way that you have to do it. The reason is because there's a two screws in here that you need to remove these two screws. Go ahead, and these are Phillips number double zero. So remove these two screws, 
The screws do have a seal lock on them, so they will not come out entirely. So you just have to loose them up. And then you want to slide the keyboard toward the back about one or two millimeters. So just pull them up, keep it sliding them up. And while you're sliding up, and slide it back, and you're going to see a separation right in here. Once you see a separation right there, all you need to do, lift up the keyboard here and pull it towards yourself. And bring, don't yank it up, bring it up and flip it over like this in this position. And that's how you can remove the keyboard so you can access the RAM under here. There's a cover here, shielding. You want to remove that cover by removing one screw right over here. And lift up the cover and slide it out. And there's your RAM under here. These are stacked on RAMs, so that means the same thing like the other one. Open these two triggers, pull away, and the RAM comes up in 45 degree angle and slide it out in 45 degree angle. This is a 16 gig. Same thing here, pull them away from each other. And let it help, the RAM will come out in 45 and pull it out. And this is another 16 gig. So I have 16 and 16 gigs. So you can put another 16 and 16 gig on the other side. So you will have, you can go up to 128 gigs, but that's a little too much. To put the RAM in, bring it down in 45 degree on the bottom jack, all the way towards the jack, and then towards the motherboard, those nice soft clicks. Same thing here, make sure the notch matches all the way in towards the motherboard. All right, once you have the RAMs in place, next step that will be really easy. You want to grab the shielding, make sure this part of the shielding is in here, it's facing up because that holds the keyboard. So it goes right under the hinges right there and set it down and put that tiny screw that you removed on the top here. Put that screw right in there. Next, you want to grab the keyboard. You want to put the back end of the keyboard right under the palm rest just until it hits the keys. Put it down and then you want to slide it towards yourself. Bring it all the way towards yourself. Make sure it's nice and flat. Now what you want to do, you want to screw down these screws in here and tighten them up. You don't have to go crazy, just softly. Uh, grab the keys. Make sure you put the back end of the hinge first. So I'm going to put it down just like closing a door, like again, like same thing as a ramp. Bring it down in 45 degree angle, the back end. And the front end, you just want to simply push it down. It just clicks in. Same thing here. All the way down and kick it. And that's it. That's how you put the clicks back on. Now we're going to go back on the bottom side. And we're going to put the bottom casing on. So if you have upgraded RAM, leave it there. You want to put this end of the bottom casing first. It has a little dents right here. This one goes right here by the hard drive. Bring it down in 45 degree, right in there, and set it down and tighten up the screws on the bottom cover, service cover. Again, I hope you guys like this video. If you did like it, please click that like and think about subscribing to support the channel. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Another note, if you have upgraded the RAM and you turn on the uh, laptop and you should, have, you should have to wait about 5 to 10 seconds, even 15 seconds for the motherboard to do a mem check, which is a memory check. Even after 10-15 seconds, you don't get a screen, just open it up, switch the RAMs in the places for the RAMs and try again. And by switching the RAM places often, often it does work. Alright, and that will be all for this video. Thanks for watching.